Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. If you're new here, my name is Paulina. This channel is all about beauty. We talk about skincare, fragrances, makeup, and today we're actually going to have one of the makeup videos. Some time ago, I managed to pick up all three of our glass face palettes from their holiday collection. I mean, it might seem a little bit excessive, but I'm actually one of those people who really use these palettes. I'm not just collector. I'm just going to, just to prove my point, I'm just going to show you my palette from 2020 so as you can see i hit a pan of all four of these shades and i'm not really that far from hitting a pan uh, with this one and just to compare this is my 2021 face palette and as you can see i hit the pan like all over this shade and these two over here the highlighter and the bronzer are very close to the pan as well so i picked all three of them and i'll be testing them on my medium skin tone so hopefully it'll be helpful for uh, at least to those of you who have similar skin tone to mine i can't wait to test these palettes now because they have been with me for a while now but because of this other calendar season craziness I didn't really have a chance to test them out. It might actually be quite a good time though. The Black Friday is coming. I'm pretty sure there will be like nice deals for those palettes and they're generally not cheap. They do cost £86 each and I already saw that you can actually buy them for like £68 at this point and they might even get more reduced uh, towards Black Friday. So this year we have three eyeshadow palettes. There are like four possible packaging options but only three eyeshadow palettes. So we have the Jellyfish palette which is the lightest one then we have the leopard palette which is supposed to be for the medium skin tone and then lastly snake palettes for the deeper skin tones we had a very similar structure last year we also had three palettes we had this butterfly one for like lighter skin tones then we had the elephant which is supposed to be perfect for like medium skin tones and then we also had the tiger palette which was the darkest one of them all and we are going to compare these palettes to this year's releases okay without further ado let's start with our lightest palette which is jellyfish so there you go this is our first palette i mean the packaging is stunning isn't it uh by the way these palettes are actually made in italy in case you're interested and these are the shades so some of these shades are new some of them are repeats let's just walk through all those shades so first up we have a uh, finishing powder diffused light this is the one over here. This is a repeat. This shade has been in our glass offer for a while now. Then we have a blush uh, in shade Rose Fusion, and this is a new shade. And then lastly, in this row, we have another new shade, and this is Metallic Strobe Powder Opal Strobe Light. Then in the bottom row, we have a new bronzer in shade uh, Lunar Bronze. Next up, another repeat, a uh, blush in shade Diffused Heat. And then lastly, we have a finishing powder in shade Ethereal Light, and this is also a repeat. So this is our lightest palette. I think it looks pretty good. We have this light medium uh, bronzer. We have two finishing powders, a highlighter, which is more this kind of like a champagne -y tone, and two blushes. One of them will be this highlighting blush over here, and then we have this like nice cool toned blush over here. Okay, so let's uh, give it a go, and then we're going to compare this to last year's light palette. So I do have medium skin tone. I'm not currently wearing any fake tan, so this is my, I would say, winter skin. So I should be able to pull off this lightest palette at least to some extent. So let's start with the bronzer first. I can apply it on both of my cheeks because we only have one bron bronzer here. Okay, so that is pretty cool. It definitely shows on my face, which, you know, I wasn't really sure because this is supposed to be the lightest palette. You can definitely see this by comparing like two sides of my face here. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I'm quite happy with that. I'm not going to apply bronzer on the other side of my face uh, because I want the blush to be more visible and I'm going to test this deeper blush uh, over here uh, on this side of my face. So let's try this out. So I'm applying this over here. So I went quite heavy-handed with this uh, blush. I mean, um, this is definitely a little bit more that I would normally use, but it also shows that this is a very buildable color and it should suit not only light skin tone, I think it should work perfectly on medium to like even tan skin tones. So I'm going to blend it out slightly because it's a little bit too much, but I was really curious how much this is going to show on my face. I also think this is a very flattering shade. Okay, we're going to move on to our other blush and I can already tell that this is not going to show that much on my skin. Uh, let's try this out on my other cheek. So I'm just going to apply a little bit here. And I'm actually quite surprised because it is quite visible. More pigmented than I expected. I'm not going to lie, this is probably one of those uh, shades that will only show on my like winter skin if I get some tan 
uh, this is probably not going to look that amazing but I still think this is a really pretty blush for like a medium skin tone and obviously for lighter skin tones you can blend everything out a little bit more and it's going to be more subtle also for some reason I am being a little bit heavy-handed today luckily we started with the lightest palette uh, okay so it's time for our highlighter which is this one over here and let's just apply it here so first of all, it's very glowy and I'm afraid this might actually accentuate any imperfections that you have on your skin because obviously I'm going to blend it out, but uh, I'm just going to show you something from up close. See, I used to have like piercings over here and this highlighter definitely makes uh, these little holes like more visible. So let's blend it out. So once again, blend it out and up close. And you can see that this is like a very uh, pretty glowy highlighter, but this is definitely going to accentuate any imperfections you might have. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We tested a bronzer, a kind of like a highlighting blush over here, another blush uh, on this side, and then we have the highlighter. I'm obviously not trying to create a makeup look as I will wash it off anyway in a minute to show you another palette. Uh, this is just to show you how these shades perform on my skin. So next we have two finishing powders left. So this one, I think I can pull it off. This one is going to be too light for me. I'm still going to apply it on my face just to show you but what I would normally do I would use this finishing powder um, instead of a setting powder on top of my concealer so that's what I usually do I really like uh, a highlighting concealer in my makeup I apply this under my eyes and like on my t-zone a little bit and this actually does a really good job as a kind of like a setting product for that so let's use the diffused light first which is the darker of these two finishing powders and I'm just going to apply this on the side of my face I definitely feel like I need uh, some finishing powder on top of this uh, highlighter which is very glowy and these finishing powders are great to like combine everything together and give you this kind of like soft focus glow uh, this is also going to mute the highlighter a little bit See, everything seems a little bit more coherent uh, with this product now, and it definitely goes okay on my skin tone. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the lightest one on uh, the other side of my face, and as I said, this one is definitely too light for me. So let's just apply this all over my right cheek. So there you go. I mean, it's not as bad as I would think, but it definitely looks less natural than uh, this side. Okay, so this is really pretty. I love the fact that everything kind of makes sense in this palette. And this is not so obvious because we're obviously going to compare this palette to the last year's release. Uh, so let's do that now. So last year we had this beautiful butterfly palette and I love butterflies. And these are the shades in this palette. And to be honest, I actually find this palette very peculiar. So bear in mind, this is the lightest palette in the uh, last year's collection. Uh, this is supposed to be perfect for like light skin tones and if you look at this closely we have two really light setting powders uh, or finishing powders that makes sense then we have this light uh, highlighter which also makes sense then we have two of those really bright blushes like no bronzer here, nothing like that. We have two really bright blushes. And then lastly, we have this pretty dark uh, yellow gold highlighter, uh, which I don't know how it makes sense with everything else. I actually have several friends with like a really uh, pale skin tone and I cannot imagine them wearing this kind of like yellow gold highlighter. I just cannot imagine that. Like maybe I'm wrong, maybe it would suit someone, but it doesn't really seem like an obvious choice. So I do feel like this year's palette, which is this one over here, makes much more sense. We we do have this one intense blush but then we also have a much lighter blush if you prefer so so it's definitely much more wearable uh, let me just do a couple of swatches to compare these palettes so here you have the swatches of the last year's palette so as you can see we have two like quite bright blushes and here we have this uh, sparkly uh, yellowy gold highlighter it's not as yellow on my skin but also bear in mind that my skin has quite prominent yellow undertones and here's the other uh, highlighter that's actually much more like a muted and I think this one is actually quite nice for like lighter skin tones. Here we have the swatches of this year's uh, light face palette. So these are the blushes, this is the highlighter and the bronzer. So as you can see this is much more coherent and it definitely seems to make much more sense. And this is the comparison of the swatches. Okay so this was our jellyfish palette, let's move on to the leopard one. Okay so I'm back with like a clean slate uh, and we're going to uh, have a look at the leopard palette which is their medium skin palette. So this is the packaging. 
and there you go these are the shades but you know what i actually really like the look of it already and again it kind of makes a little bit more sense than last year's palette because it does seem to be like a proper medium one i'm going to explain what i mean in a minute so for now let's have a look at the shades so what we have here is uh, their very famous uh, dim light finishing powder and this is a repeat this shade has been in hourglass palettes multiple times already then we have metallic strobe powder celestial strobe light and this is again a repeat from last year actually it was in butterfly palette then we have a blush in shade mood exposure this is another repeat it's a very pretty shade though next up we have iridescent rose and this is another blush and also a repeat next up we have a new shade this is another blush in shade ethereal flush and then lastly we have a bronzer in shade lustrous bronze light and this is again a repeat from last year's elephant palette which was their medium skin tone palette okay so as you can see this one actually contains a lot of repeats i think there's only one new shade which is this one over here so i guess it might be a little bit disappointing but i guess it also depends on how many of these shades you actually have in your previous palettes i think these shades are actually really pretty this highlighter makes so much more sense in this palette versus the light palette uh the blushes are really pretty and i can never have enough of the dim uh, finishing powder because this one is I think my favorite so I personally do not mind those repeats I'm more of uh, hourglass palettes user versus a collector so as long as the repeated shades are the good ones I don't mind but I guess not everybody will be happy with the solution uh, the other thing is that we also have uh, three blushes over here which I guess some people might find to be a little bit of an overkill I mean anyways I do like the look of it but that's only so much I can say before like testing it so let's go ahead and try the bronzer first on the side of my face and this is the bronzer i tried last year it's pretty uh, but it's definitely one of those shades that will show on my winter skin not necessarily on my summer skin so as you can see nice uh, quite flattering shade uh, but quite light we definitely need to test this new ethereal flush uh, blush so i'm just going to go ahead and test it out on my other cheek as with everything today, I got a little bit too heavy-handed, but this is not a massive problem. As I said, uh, these blushes tend to blend out really nicely, so even if you apply too much, that shouldn't be a problem. So I'm just going to blend this out. Yeah, that's a really pretty shade. I'm not sure how I'll be able to test three uh, blushes, because I only have two cheeks. Uh, but let's go ahead and use this mood exposure on uh, this side of my face. So yeah, this blush, I've already tried it before. This is a really lovely, cool tone, kind of like a mauve uh, shade. It is so pretty, it's very flattering. I think it's going to be great for like most medium kind of range skin tones. So let's just try and apply a little bit of this iridescent rose uh, blush, like maybe here. We'll see if this is going to show. Okay, so this one is not extremely pigmented, but it does give me this nice glow. So this could be a nice blush topper if you like that kind of like glow on top of your blush. And if you have more like a tan skin tone, then I guess you could use this one as a highlighter as well. So yeah, that's actually quite pretty. Let's go ahead and test out the highlighter. And I'm going to apply this here on my right cheek because there's not enough glow over here. And as you can see, this is again a very glowy highlighter. I think this is perfect for like medium skin tones. I'm honestly not sure how this would work on like lighter skin tones but i do think this should look really pretty on like all sort of medium skin tones so there you go these are the shades and we also have uh, my favorite a finishing powder dim light since we only have one finishing powder here i can just apply it all over my face i'm just going to start with my right side of my face I really love how this finishing powder like blends and binds everything together and it just looks so much more natural. Uh, so let's just apply this on the other side of my face, which still looks unfinished. And there you go. So as you can see, this highlighter is going to give you like this proper glowy effect. But if you decide to use this as a, your highlighter topper or your highlighter, this is going to give you a much more subtle look. Okay, time for a comparison. So our last year's medium palette was the Elephant palette. So this is what it looks inside. And to be honest, the first thing that comes to my mind whenever I'm looking at this palette is that it 
seems a little bit too light for like a medium palette. It seems more like a light medium palette or one of the two light palettes that were released last year. Now I had like a completely different vibe from the leopard palette. Leopard palette seems like perfect for like medium skin tone apart from maybe the bronzer which was uh, I would say like lighter medium. I think even the name suggests that this is a light medium bronzer but when we compare this to the elephant palette to be honest the elephant palette doesn't really seem that much lighter. So maybe that was just my impression or maybe just some shades have like better pigmentation in uh, this new palette. So let's do the swatches and let's compare them like that. So there you go, these are the swatches from the Elephant palette from last year and we have two blushes, we have the highlighter here and the bronzer. Uh, one thing I need to mention uh, is that uh, the Elephant palette actually had two finishing powders. Uh, so uh, there will be one extra swatch on my other hand. Uh, as you can see, so here we have all three blushes, we have the highlighter and then we have a bronzer. So this is the comparison. But you know what, I think the fact that we actually have three blushes, including like a really nice intense uh, new shade over here, this actually makes this palette look a little bit like darker or like more suitable for like proper medium skin tone. Whereas this one seems very pale, like we don't really have any pop of color here. We have these two really muted blushes, uh, quite a sparkly highlighter and this kind of like medium light bronzer. So I think this is why I always felt that this palette was more suitable for like light medium rather than medium skin tone. Here apart from this uh, intense new blush we also have two other blushes which I think there's a little bit more difference in shades here uh, so that makes it a little bit more interesting. I would say the highlighters have like similar kind of pigmentation. This one is just a bit more bronzy. This one over here is more like yellow gold and obviously we have the same bronzers in both palettes. So you know what I think so far I actually prefer the 2023 collection. So let me just show you one more thing. So this is the Jellyfish palette from this year and this is the Leopard palette. You can definitely tell which one of these palettes is uh, the medium one and which one is the light one. I think it's quite visible. And here we have last year's palette. So we have the Butterfly which is the light palette and the Elephant which is the medium. And yes you can definitely see some lighter shades in uh, the Butterfly palette but look at these blushes. Like the ones in the Butterfly palette are just so bright compared to the ones in this elephant palette. I would probably say these will be like two versions of a kind of like a light medium skin tone palette. That, that's how I see that. And this is why I claim I prefer the 2023 releases better for now. Okay time for the last palette uh, this year. This is a snake palette and this one is suitable for deeper skin tones. All right so this is our snake palette. And these are the shades and that looks pretty stunning if you ask me. I think they finally figured out how to make palettes for like deeper skin tones as well. So this looks very promising. I mean I did really like the last year's Tiger palette so I'm really glad to see something that looks just as good uh, this year. So let's have a look at the shade. So what we have here is finishing powder in radiant light and this is a repeat. Then we have blush in coral haze and this is a new shade. Then we have metallic strobe powder in infinite strobe light and this is another new shade. Then in the second row we have another blush and this one is in sunbeam, another new shade. Next up is blush in shade mystic flush and this is also new. And then lastly we have a bronzer, this one is in solar bronze and this is a new shade as well. So we have quite a lot of new shades over here. I think there's only one repeat which is very exciting. So without further ado let's test these things out. So I'm going to start with the bronzer. I'm actually really excited because in the Tiger palette there was no bronzer. There was a finishing powder that was pretty dark so I used it as a bronzer but there was no bronzer per se. So I'm just going to try and be a little bit like light light handed uh, this time because these shades already look much deeper. So let's see. Yes. Oh, this is really nice. I was quite cautious this time, but uh, the pigmentation actually really shows on my skin. So that is really good. It's also very pretty. And uh, I'm also really glad that it's not too dark for me. Like I can blend it out and make it like look really nice on me too. I'm guessing this is also going to be quite buildable. And I'm pretty sure this is going to look good on like deeper skin tones as well. Because this was like a very light... Uh, application. Okay let's try some blushes now. So we again have three blushes and I have no idea how I'm going to uh, test them all out. Um, so let's start with this one. This is more like a glowy blush again. I'm going to try and apply this on the same side of my face where I applied my uh, bronzer. 
this is really pretty and this is so glowy that I'm pretty sure I will not be needing any highlighter with that because look at that glow it's a really beautiful shade and I think it's going to look even better when I have some tan so I guess this is going to be more of my summer palette it is very nicely pigmented I don't think this is going to be very flattering on like very light skin tone but I think it's going to look beautiful on like tan or like deeper skin tone okay so we've got that one out of the way let's try this blush over here maybe on the other cheek and I'm going to apply this like a little bit higher this time so that we have more space to try the other shade as well so there you go as you can see very pigmented I did not really use that much product but still it does show quite a lot of my on my face uh, yeah that's probably even too much so I'm just going to blend it out a little bit to see how blendable this is but this is pretty blendable luckily so it looks all right now that's a really pretty shade but I think if you have medium skin tone and you want this palette be very gentle use just a lot of it and then blend it out and then you can always build it up if you want to but I don't think you will need to so this is our mystic flush blush very pretty very pigmented and then we have this blush over here and this is coral haze since I don't really have more space on my cheeks I'm just going to apply this shade like next to this one so we'll see if there's going to be like much difference Okay, I look like a clown. Um, again, this is a very light application and again, I'm going to blend it out so that it doesn't look like that ridiculous. But the first thing that comes to my mind when I look at these two shades, they're both very pigmented, but the Coral Flush, as the name suggests, it's a little bit warmer and upon application, you can see this warmth coming through a little bit more. Other than that, I think these are both like really beautiful shades, but I think uh, these are more suitable for, as I said, like more tan skin tone. So I that's not the type of palette I will be using um, in the nearest future. I'm just going to wait for like spring and summer, and then I think this palette is going to be brilliant. So it's time for our highlighter now. Let's do that. And I'm just going to apply it, where should I apply it? Let's apply it here because this side is less sparkly. Oh, that is actually really pretty. Look at this. Look at that shade. I mean, look at that sparkle as well. Obviously, I need to blend it out. So there you go. We again have like a really nice glow coming from the highlighter. It is really pretty. It's definitely a little bit too dark for me at this point. I mean, it's not too dark to the point that it looks ridiculous, but it's just not as flattering as it could be. So I think everything makes perfect sense here. If your skin is medium uh, and if you have a little bit of tan on your face, this is going to be great uh, for like every kind of deeper skin tone. This should actually looks really nice too. But if you're lighter than that, uh, if my current skin tone is your kind of like normal skin tone, you don't go any more tan than this. I would definitely choose one of the lighter palettes because they work really nicely on my skin tone as well. So the last thing we need to try is this finishing powder. And again, I feel like this one is going to be slightly uh, too uh, dark for me at this point, but let's see if I can just pull it off. So this is what it looks like. I mean, it looks better with it than without it, uh, but I still think it's going to be more flattering once I get a little bit of tan. So, you know, summertime. Okay, so time for the last comparison. So we're going to be comparing the snake palette from this year with uh, the tiger palette from last year. So this is uh, the tiger palette and these are the shades inside. And to be honest, this is probably the only one of the 2022 palettes that I don't really have much like negative to say about. I think this is a really beautiful palette. There are quite unique shades in here. Obviously this is quite dark, but the, that's the whole point of it, right? This has never been like a great palette for like a very light skin tones, uh, but I think this was a really lovely palette. So let's compare this to the Snake palette. So let's have a look at these two palettes together. So this is uh, the 2023 Snake palette, and here we have the last year's Tiger palette. Do you know what? I actually really like how different they look. Uh, so I guess if you bought uh, your Tiger palette last year uh, this one still can be a good choice for you okay so these are our swatches from the tiger palette from last year as you can see these blushes are really nice and deep uh, here we have the finishing powder which definitely kind of makes sense for me to use it as a bronzer as you can probably tell uh, and then here we have these two highlighters I'm not really sure how much you can see but we have one that's a little bit more like cool toned and this is a little bit warmer and here we have the swatches from our snake palette so again we have uh, three blushes over here uh, then uh, next up we have a highlighter 
Uh, this is uh, the finishing powder and it's actually slightly darker than my skin so obviously this is going to be better for my summer skin I just said that before and this is the bronzer and here we have the swatch comparison so yeah I definitely love the fact that even though I mean both of these palettes were actually good I don't think there was like much improvement needed I'm so glad that this uh, 2023 palette is quite different okay guys time for my final thoughts first of all the hourglass face palettes are just the best like these palettes are the best and this is something I use constantly. So I think even if these palettes were not amazing, I would probably have something nice to say anyway, because you know, the quality of this product is amazing. However, I do think that 2023 holiday um, face palette collection is just so much better than the last year's one. Like generally it is better. Let me tell you why I think so. First of all, all of these new palettes make perfect sense. Like we have the... A full complete palette. Every single one of these palettes contains a blush, a bronzer, a highlighter, and a finishing powder. Last year we had two palettes that did not contain bronzer, and these were the Tiger and the, the Butterfly palette. The only palette that was complete was the Elephant one. I also really love the fact that we have a really nice distinction between these three palettes. Like this is 100% a lighter skin tone palette. Then we have this Leopard medium palette, and then the snake is for a deeper skin tone like there's no doubt here when it comes to the last year's palette only the tiger one was obvious uh, to me whereas these two were more like two kind of different palette options for like light medium skin tones like the butterfly palette was generally very light but it had these uh, two really bright um, blushes and this kind of like a golden tone highlighter whereas the elephant was like literally too light for like most medium skinned people to use it was definitely more of a light medium situation also i need to mention how kind of like peculiar this palette was with these two uh, bright um blushes it was definitely not something i would expect as a option for light skin tone so i think this year these palettes make so much more sense and yes some of these new palettes contain a repeat i think the leopard one has the biggest number of uh, the repeated shades uh and i know this is a deal breaker for like some people as I said I personally do not mind as long as these are like the nice shades like not the ones that you know they couldn't sell and then just put them in a palette no we have like a really nice popular shades over here so I'm fine with that so obviously as far as these palettes go I would definitely recommend them if you have a medium skin care like me and you get a little bit of tan um, during like summer months you can pull off any of those if your skin is lighter I would probably just pick up one of these two palettes and if your skin is deeper and than mine then I think this is the, going to be the one for you. You also saw the comparisons uh, of this year's palettes to the last year's ones. I also think that these palettes are different enough from like last year to kind of like justify buying them all if you are a hardcore collector you know. So if you're thinking about it yeah these palettes uh, do look quite uh, different. Okay guys so this is everything for me today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have tried any of these palettes from this or last year let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you very much for watching. For more beauty related content check those videos over here i'm going to see you very soon take care bye